How many times have you heard that out in nature orchids grow upside down? And many times when it comes to mounting Phalaenopsis, that is the advice that we are given. The advice that I have also taken on board with my Phalaenopsis pulchra is to mount her upside down. Well, the reason we are told orchids are growing upside down is because how the orchid avoids crown rot out in nature because the rain just washes away from the center of the crown along the stem and away from what could be a potential threat to the growing point of a monopodial orchid. Well, I am here to tell you uh, that is not entirely true because ta-da! Here is my Phalaenopsis pulchra several months later and she is growing upright. She is correcting herself. She was mounted upside down, so to speak. But what is she doing and what you need to be aware of in the future when you mount your Phalaenopsis orchids? She is growing towards the light source as with any orchid. An orchid will always grow towards the light source with the exception of some species. They will always point their leaves towards where they can capture the maximum amount of light in order to photosynthesize and behold you have yourself a mounted monopodial orchid growing upwards and now you have a problem when it comes to watering. Because out in nature, this orchid would now be getting water along her stem, in her crown. And what are we afraid of? Exactly. Collar rot, stem rot, crown rot, all the horrible stuff that could take an orchid out. Why does it work in nature without any issues? And why doesn't it work in cultivation? Well, the reason is airflow. There has to be consistent airflow to dry the leaf joints out, to dry the crown out, in order for not to incur any kind of rot. So keep in mind, no matter how you mount your Phalaenopsis orchid, unless you want her to grow down and stay growing down. And if that is what you want, you have to make sure that the major light source is coming from down up so that she continues to grow downwards. The moment you don't have the light source coming from below, she is going to correct herself. Know as well that any correction of growth towards the ideal light source according to the orchid is a massive amount of stress because all the readjusting, all the resituating of the leaves takes a lot of energy. So what am I doing with my pulchra? Well, luckily or unlucky, depending how you want to see it, at the moment she is lying down. She she is not hanging outside as I have her here for the video. She is not hanging outside during these winter months. She wouldn't be able to handle the cold temperatures. So while she's lying down, I can mist the roots around the filter material I have there simulating sphagnum moss and I can mist roots that are tucked away underneath all the foliage and she will be okay and she will be watered and dry by the time it's time to come indoors for the night. In the summer, I'm gonna have to be extra special careful and watch exactly what happens when I water her because the intention of course is to go gung-ho and let everything drip and dry out according to mother nature. However, if I don't have enough air flow if I don't have enough temperatures to make sure things dry out, this orchid is now a risk factor when it comes to rot. So I am debunking the Mount Phalaenopsis upside down because that's how they grow in nature. They do not they will always redirect themselves to the light source. On top of that, if we were lucky enough to have this orchid around for another 10 years, of course, that is the plan. Let me tell you when they will eventually grow down again. For a short period of time only though, that is if the growing point gets so long, so heavy, that in itself, it starts to droop because of the weight of the growing point. But it's not going to take very long for the growing point to correct itself in order to then have access to the optimal light source again. So be very, very mindful when you mount your Phalaenopsis orchids. Know that in future they are going to start growing upwards and then be very careful how you water and make sure you have plenty of airflow so that crown rot or any form of rot is not an issue ever. If you're still with me, I just want to make one note of reference where I have seen it happen out in nature, not with a Phalaenopsis orchid, but with Angraecums, the big ones. We're talking Sesquipedale, we're talking Betchii, big ones, very, very old ones growing up on palm trees. And as they grow up, if they haven't been pinned back towards the trunk of a palm tree, they will start to lean out and then they will start to curve where the canopy of the palm fronds are not as protective a shade provider and they are looking for the light. 
So once then they get pinned back as they have grown back against the trunk of the tree, they will grow upright again. Once the stem of the angraecum gets longer, same thing. The weight pulls them towards the optimal light source and so on and so forth. And that is what monopodials do if you were to say out in nature they grow upside down. Trust me, they don't. I am so glad I have this example with my Phalaenopsis pulchra and I really hope that helps someone further down the line to know what to look for. If you want that growing point to stay pointing downwards, make sure her maximum light source is coming from below. I would appreciate it if you gave this video a like. A share would be fabulous. If you were then also to subscribe, that would be the perfect hat trick. Thank you very much also for watching. Have yourself a fabulous day on the condition that you stay safe. Please take care. Bye.